Hello, I'm Mike Carney. I work in product marketing at uh, Natiza, an IBM company. And this afternoon I'm here with my colleague Michelle Chambers. Michelle is responsible for uh, helping our customers really get business value from advanced analytics. Michelle, advanced analytics, it strikes me as being a sort of very broad set of capabilities. Can you sort of break that out for us and tell us in a bit more detail about it? Sure, happy to. When we talk about advanced analytics, people talk about it as though it's one thing, but it's really a spectrum of things. And so if you start out on the left side or the lower side of it, you have um, SQL-based analytics. And so people can do crunching of data using SQL. The next sort of step that you move to is in the area of statistics. And the first within that area is descriptive statistics. And descriptive statistics is using math to look at data in the past to describe that data and that's really what BI was really focused on was using descriptive statistics to explain past occurrences. The next sort of level of statistics is mo moving towards data mining or machine learning in statistics and that's predictive analytics and that's using your past historical information to predict future outcomes based on past history. The next sort of level that you get to is simulation. So taking that predictive model that you came up with and actually simulating multiple scenarios. And so one of the common ways that you hear people using simulation is in Monte Carlo simulation. Yeah. And so that's a very typical area where you're evaluating different scenarios. And then the pinnacle or apex of analytics is optimization. And what optimization is, is applying that predictive model to actually look at trade-off kind of decisions to optimize based on your constraints what are the best outcomes that you could possibly produce with analytics. Okay I get that so our customers have data warehouses is it likely that all the analytics they are doing or will be doing will be on data in those warehouses? Well, some of the data is in the data warehouse. Not all of it is in the data warehouse. So if you think about it in terms of time, and that's you know, from the inception of when the data is created, um, the most real time would be using what's called streaming analytics. And in that case, you're taking a transaction that's coming across typically in a wire from a sensor or for some, some kind of real time data feed. And you're actually doing analytics processing based on that transaction, making a decision, doing some number crunching on it. Then if you move into um, where that data typically goes is an operational system, and that's in a, typically in an ERP system. Then if you go to the next level, it typically has moved into a data warehouse where maybe people are using BI and doing backwards reporting. Maybe they're using their data warehouse to do more predictive type of modeling. And that's where you really get the ability to evaluate very big sets of data. So as this data explosion that's occurring today, the data warehouse is where the data lives and you get to analyze all of that rich set of data to predict future outcomes. And then beyond that, that's where we see Hadoop fitting in. So Hadoop is in a grid environment, and in that environment, it's really a queryable archive that it's extremely um, well suited to. So instead of having data that goes offline and becomes kind of dead and not being able to use it, Hadoop is a perfect environment for that query archives and for long-running queries. Well, that's, that, that, so there's a really rich set of techniques you can use based on the timeliness of data. Now, again, on the assumption that our customers have a warehouse today, mm -hmm. can you suggest where they could start an analytic journey if, if they really haven't taken the first step? Where might they look to take that first step? So what we advise our customers to do is really look at their business, understand their business, and how analytics can be used to drive a high impact, high business value impact project. And to take that project in stages, to do a prototype where they go full cycle 
Okay, so they start out with cleansing their data, transforming their data, a subset of the data, moving it into an analytic model, doing data mining and discovery, and then moving that into a production kind of environment where they can realize some business value and benefit. It may not be ultimately where they want to go to, but by using that kind of rapid methodology, success breeds success. So they create a short-term success, and then they build upon that success and either embellish that model, add more data. They, there's a lot of different ways they can take that. Over time, as they start to spiral and build out that project, they oftentimes will start looking at ensemble models. And ensemble modeling is when you use multiple modeling techniques in combination to drive the highest lift out of that particular project. That's, that's, that's very, very interesting. So, they, so I think the message here is that get started, find something with high value and get started, but be aware that there is a journey that you can go on. There are plenty more analytic techniques you'll be able to use to extract more and more value. But the underlying theme is that you already have the data, you're already collecting the data. That's what Nateza allows you to do. So analytics really just generates additional value on data that's already generating value to the business. Absolutely. The other opportunity it lends itself to is using external data. So today a lot of people are using analytics with their internal data only, but as we start moving into the realm of having big data analytic capability in the data warehouse, you have the ability to introduce third-party data and survey data into your analytics so that you get that outside perspective and can do benchmarking and actually improve your ability to predict based on external data as well. That's great. Thank you, Michelle. Um, we hope you found that valuable. The, we really believe that there is enormous value to our customers in exploiting the data they already manage and advanced analytics gives them that capability. Thank you.